have returned. I am your host, like the guy just said. I'm, I'm attorney Stephen Leahy, and this is the IRS Radio Hour on AM560. The Answer! Here with Jim Leahy and Deborah Schreiner, and we're here to uh, inform and entertain. It's the blog segment. The blog! The blog! I'm having a flashback. Me too, after reading this oh. book, Wrigley Field's Amazing Vendors. That's right. I love, love that, that book. book. We had, had we, we talked, talked to Lloyd and, and Abe on the air about this. Very good. I know they've been all over the book. I think you should get the book. Get the it's book. Actually, I got the book. It's really you cool. You should get the book. <laughs> we <laughs> were just talking about you know how amazing. I'm looking through the pictures, going. I don't really see anybody smoking. That's kind of odd. Maybe they maybe they had uh, get edit those out or something because I know he had it. He, I'm he, a young guy. He right? must have had ten times more pictures than this. I'm a young guy. But I still remember when they would smoke in the. Because he talks about he talks about doing a second book, and also there's a lot of these same vendors are out at, at where go to, to uh, Comiskey, to and so they're talking about doing. So a they book do a Comiskey, them. they do, but a lot of those guys are contracted, right? Or they're the same guys, yeah, same guys, same move guys around. Go to United Center, Center, go to United you know, Center. Guys. That'd be cool. So, uh, so anyway, th- this is the blog segment where I talk about what's really going on in my, you know, what's going on in my uh, office the last week, and you know, we used to t- we used to talk a lot of in, on this show about full financial recovery, full financial, financial recovery. recovery. We used to talk a lot about that. I don't, we don't do it so much. I, I don't know why. Uh, probably because most of my uh, work is really geared towards. Uh, the IRS resolutions, but I still come across people who have this. When we talk about full financial recovery, is because a lot of times when you have tax problems, you got more than one problem, right? Because taxes are lasting. It's like when people fall fall behind in their mortgages. If you're falling behind in your mortgage, you probably are falling behind in your in these other things. Exactly. Too. Yeah. You're not paying your credit card bills. You're not. You know. So it's 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 usually a step. You know. You're, it's a step thing. You you miss a couple of these, then all of a sudden, the, then you miss your your mortgage, and then you don't pay your taxes, and then sometimes when people are having a, a financial problems, they go to their job and they say, you know what, I'm gonna change my W four. Don't take any taxes out of my out of my check. Yeah. I need every dime I can get because I can't. I'm falling behind in my mortgage or I'm, I can't and I'll so, make it up later. So now yeah, so now now it comes now not not only do you have credit card debt now problems, you not only you have problems with your mortgage, but now you have problems with the IRS. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's, kinda, now it's starting to get sticky and, and it's a uh, it's a rolling you know, it's a problem. Cascading right? tax tax problem. Issue. Exactly. And this is why I talk a lot about this because really and I, I tell and I tell people this all the time and I'm gonna tell you. Uh the, the the key to solving an IRS problem, and here's a secret, so don't tell anybody. The key to solving an IRS problem is compliance. And compliance means staying from today on, I'm going to pay my taxes and I'm going to stay and I'm going to file them on time and I'm going to move on. I'm going to, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay in compliance with the IRS. All the stuff behind me that I've had problems with, I can fix. You know, you you come to my, I can fix that. But if you don't stay in compliance, guess what? I can't fix it because okay? they won't let me fix it. They won't talk to me about come some sort of remedy for what you do, what you do. So what if I owe the IRS seventy grand? I can't pay them, and so I'm not. So you know, I'm not going to file my tax return. Yeah, or just, anything. Yeah. Well, and now you put your head in the sand like the six. So things now you, do now you want to fix it? I go now. What people don't understand is if I can prove to the IRS that I can't pay them the seventy thousand, or I can't pay them a lot of money a month, they'll leave me alone. But I have to work that out with them. I can't just pre- I just can't hope that they know that because they don't know that. Not answer the phone, and, or not, or how many times I tell you, Jim, that they don't they don't open the mail. You know, and yeah, I'm not going to open the mail. mail or I know what it says. Phone, I know what it says. No, you don't know what it says. Open the mail. It, but I get it. Okay, so people uh, again. I had a uh, this goes to full financial recovery. Full financial recovery. I, I had a, a young lady in my office this week, and she lost her husband a couple of years ago, and she's been on a. It, it changed her life, of course, because right? you lose your your husband. It changes everything, and she's been in a depression. Right. And she turned to gambling because sometimes people turn to gambling for, you know, like of drugs course. or anything else. Right. Yeah. You, you try to forget your problems. And and this has caused trouble because now she has missed uh, some mortgage payments. And she did exactly what I just said to you. She went to her job because she's a W2 employee and she went to her job and she stopped them. They, they stopped taking taxes out of her out of her check. So now she owes the IRS. And uh, she finally was. Uh, led on to her daughter about what the problems were 
and her daughter Googled for help, and my name came up, and they called me. They called me on Monday. They came to see me. Uh, I, look, I looked into it. I called the lawyers on the other side because uh-huh. they, they don't know what's going on. Well, I know there's a case. I don't know. I don't open it. I haven't looked at it. I, I don't. So I'm calling. I'm trying to find information. I can find stuff online. I found out who the lawyers were. I called the lawyers. Hey, what's going on? Oh, there's a sale set for Thursday. Now it's Tuesday. Okay, so Oh, my gosh. So what are we going to do? So there's only one. one and when you have a time frame like that, and the, the, the thing is, is that this woman makes a pretty good living. So she, so she's got money, and that's really the the crux of this problem, right? If if I don't, I'm not working. I don't have any. Then I'm going to lose my home. But if I have the means to pay it, and I'm just kind of I'm going off and I'm doing gambling or something. First, you got to stop gambling, right? Because you can't you can't lose all your money uh-huh. and then think you're going to pay your mortgage. Okay, you can't do that. It's just not going to happen. Okay, you. so so uh, so again, so here's the trifecta, right? She has problems with the IRS. She has problems with the foreclosure. She And the remedy is bankruptcy. Okay, Because that's the only thing at this late date that we could do to stop the sale on Thursday. There's nothing else you can do. You could, you could bring an emergency motion in court and hope that the judge goes your way and uh, stays the sale. But there's a good chance that the judge won't go your way and they won't stay the sale. And then your hands are tied. There's nothing else you can do. You're, you, you've lost the opportunity. Uh-huh. Okay, so we guided her to do what you got to do before you file bankruptcy. And we filed the bankruptcy. Actually, I filed it at 12 uh, 12, 12, 15, the day of th- Thursday. So Thursday, you know, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I filed it at twelve fifteen. So they couldn't sell our house on Thursday. And I sent stuff to the lawyers and I said, listen, we filed for protection on the bankruptcy law. The automatic stay is in place. You can't sell that house tomorrow. Yep. Okay, so now we can set up a plan, and that's you could set you could file a chapter thirteen that quickly. It only takes one or two days to file a, a that's chapter pretty thirteen. Good. That's good to know. Now I still have time. I still have to go back and, and forge a plan and all this. And you have a, a limited Forged time. Forged in fire. And, yeah, uh, I love that show. And you have a little bit of time to come up with a plan, and and but we can do it now. Okay, now we can come up with a plan to save her home. As I mentioned, she doesn't really have a lot of other debt, so it's really about paying the mortgage and because she wasn't paying attention to the foreclosure case, it went very quickly. A matter of seven or eight months, man, boom, she's out. That's right, they're going to sell the house. Now, if you get involved in a foreclosure case, you can stretch it out. You can try to make it, you know, maybe do a loan modification, as we talked about before. Uh, and we'll talk about that on another, uh, I think we talked about it last week. Uh, but we'll talk about it again, because loan modifications have their place. But not everywhere, not everybody should be seeking a loan modification. It's really about your situation, right? There's these different tools out there, right, that I can use to help you. One of them is bankruptcy. Well, in this case, that was the right tool to use to help this woman to uh-huh. make sure they didn't sell her house. Okay, so that's the tool I had in my toolbox, and I used it. Okay, but every the way, it's like everything else, the way you use it, the timing of it, the other tools that are available, putting it all together really depends on your situation. What is right for you? Right. That this wouldn't have been the right. Uh, such, uh, this would not have been the right solution for everybody. But in this case, that was the right. That's solution. what's great about open tax resolution. You guys take a look at their problem and say, hey, I might not be for it. might That's not right. work to work with me or this is going to benefit you in mm-hmm. greatly benefit you. And what people when people come to see me, right, they're looking for a solution. And I have to be the one to tell them. I can't solve your problem sitting here at this table right this second. I don't have enough information. You have to do an investigation. I have to find out about you. I got to find out about your assets and your liabilities and your income and all that. And that all takes time and an investigation. So when people are trying to tell you, "Oh, I got the solution. You got to do you got to do this. You got to do a little, uh, Offer compromise. I know that. They, they don't know because it, it might not be right for you. So you have to do this. You have to do an investigation to find out what's right for you and then come up with a solution geared towards you. And that's what Open Tax exactly. Resolution does. Remember, Open Tax Resolution is there for you, ladies and gentlemen. 312 664 6649. If it's at ChicagoTaxTeam.com, it's going to be your hub. Oh. To help fight the IRS. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions regarding this, you can always go to YouTube and watch either our live feed Fridays or you can just go on anytime and watch our show and get the content you need to help fix your problem today. So remember, Open Tax Resolution 312 664 
six six four nine. Now, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because after the commercial break, more IRS radio hours coming your way here on AM five sixty. The, the answer. answer. 